All right, Crispy here with Lunge and Lures. I'm out here with the original designer of the 22 Short, Chad Harmon. Uh, who better to talk techniques, techniques and procedures than this guy right here? Uh, he's, the, you know, he's the one, the mad scientist that spent a lot of time on the water fishing them. So today we're going to talk a little bit about spring tactics. Got a lot of good feedback from our customer base this year in the spring. I know a lot of guys down at Cape Run had a lot of success. A lot of guys, that, you know, some of those southern reservoirs like Lake Kincaid uh, were trolling them, but I know other guys were casting them. Chad. In the spring, do you prefer to cast or troll the 22 short? Honestly, it depends the lake you're on. Okay. You know, if it's typically a good casting lake, yeah. cast it. Okay. I mean, they, they have a ton of action to them. Yeah. You, know, you even get the wander and the cast and everything like that. You get a lot of followers with it where they're mostly going to hit is on the second or third eight. I mean, they'll come out of nowhere and just drill it. So just keep an eye out for it. You know, everybody knows figure eight, figure eight every time, but just keep an eye out for They come deep, come up with wide. But trolling it, hit the flat, short line. I'm, I'm talking like 12 foot of line, 8 okay. foot of line, actual short line, not yeah. 30 foot. That's not short line, guys. Okay. So uh, put it in the prop wash, hit the flats, uh, trigger those fish to hit. You know, that's what these baits are designed for, to trigger fish. You know, use that ability that the bait has. You use it as a tool that it is. Yeah, leveraging leveraging the, the, the characteristics of this bait to, to ultimately help you catch more fish. So, Let's talk a little about water temperature. So you said like short lining. Like at what water temperatures do you like the short line baits? Oh, uh, basically ice out to, uh, I would say 68 degrees. 68 degrees, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm hitting the, the, the flats and the, the secondary uh, the secondary points and stuff like that coming out. Okay. Uh, so a lot, you're targeting a lot of those fish moving up to spawn and the fish that have, that have already spawned and are moving out. Right. And even ones that may just be sitting out there, you know, I, I know in Cape Run, a lot of guys target the flats, you know, some of those fish just kind of move up and relax in some of that warmer water. Right, right. But honestly, the fish are really trying to target, we're not, out, we're not trying to outsmart any fish, we just want the big dumb ones. That's, that's <laughs> <about> it. <laughs> I'll take a big dumb one any day. All right, so what what drives your decision, you know, when, when you're going to pick up this bait and cast it in the spring as opposed to troll it? I know you said it's kind of lake specific, but... What, what kind of triggers your thoughts in your brain, like, hey, I'm going to cast it? Is it is it weather dependent? Is it water temperature dependent? If there's a lot of wood in the lake, okay. I'm cast. Okay. I'm tipping it off the trees, the down trees, the oh, water, okay. everything like that, standing trees. Uh, if you get any weed growth in a, in a real early spring like that, target the weed growth. I mean, uh, really look for that. If you're going to troll it, uh, just big flats. Okay. Go big flats. So you like to target some of that structure that's on the lake? Right. Okay. Right. Cool. All right, well, hey guys, just want to take a second to talk spring tactics with the original designer of the 22 Short, Chad Harmon. I appreciate you taking the time to watch.